Hey people, I am 30 and welcome back to the return of Caesar here in Xeta Kings 3. Playing as the Roman Empire and playing as Gaius Julius Caesar himself with the mighty beard being 74 years old. And I have not been uploading for a week. I first and foremost want to apologize for that. There is a good explanation. If you read my Twitter account, you know why. If you do not read my Twitter, I uh, recommend that you try and check it out regularly. You can find the link down in the description. You can also find the direct link to it on my channel. The reason I haven't uploaded for a week is that I had some dental surgery a week ago, which meant involved a lot of tearing flesh apart with this sharp needle and drilling into bone and then inserting a screw and then sewing it all back together uh, which has been meaning that I have been in a lot of pain in my mouth for the last week and I've also been very sore in my mouth having difficulty opening in my mouth which meant that I have had issues speaking which is the reason I haven't been uploading so I've been focusing on recovering mainly so that's why now you know but hopefully it shouldn't be an issue from now on to keep on uploading. Hopefully with a new, a new campaign as well. But what we're going to focus on right now is the fact that we have a dangerous faction going on. We've been trying to bribe people to basically not kill us. They could keep on trying to do so. I'm going to bribe a few more people. It's not like we have a shortage of money. Absolutely not. I have a tremendous amount of money. In all fairness. And there's a lot of people here very close to actually liking me enough to drop out of the faction. So if I could avoid fighting it, I would be very happy indeed. You really hate me. Because you're actually not the right religion. Can I do something about that? Can I kill you? Potentially? No, I cannot. Interesting. Why do you hate me so much? You want to be on the council. Urbanus. I see. You're kind of decent at diplomacy, to be honest, but in all fairness, I think you're not my first choice. He's down here. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna make him like me enough to stop, wanna be part of the faction. So I'm gonna keep my brother as my chancellor. No, I'm actually gonna replace him with Ven Venice, because Venice is a f actually a vassal, and I was gonna like this a bit more. And he's not that much worse. I really need my levy troop to actually get stronger. It's gonna take a bit. It's gonna take a while. I think we could try and get rid of some vassals potentially, and that is generally a good way to increase the size of my levies. I'm actually just gonna grant. Hopefully, this guy is not gonna be part of a faction. Actually, not now because we actually have a truce. The only reason I'm doing this is trying to get my levy up again. Just making the vat the faction. A lot weaker than it used to be and I also lost my spy master and steward because of this great being so young you're actually really good that's a bit risky in all fairness but he likes us well enough you do absolutely not like us but he does so I'm gonna take him instead great that's made us tremendously stronger, which hopefully means that we can deal with this faction without dying. Hopefully without without it actually even firing off, even though it would be kind of fun with having a big succession war, you know? It was a long time since it last happened. I feel like more people I joined in that didn't used to be in here. I might be right, I might be wrong. They're actually... She deserves all of the credit. Yeah, she does. Yeah, there's some new people in here. I don't recognize them. You're not close enough. I think he might be, though. Yeah, absolutely. 50. I think we can bribe this guy to go away. Hopefully the, these people, too. We could at least try. It's always worth a try. It might be that they have to be above 100. Or be at close to 100 to drop out. But those people haven't really dropped out yet. That's a strong faction by the way. That's a really, really strong faction. And I can see why. There's a lot of really strong people in here. Like West Francia and England. Which are strong people. Alba as well. Burgundy, Pannonia. 
Tahert, Maghreb, Persia, Aquitaine. Yeah, it's a lot of kingdoms. A lot of really strong kingdoms in all of this area, which would go against us and we would have issues generally is dealing with things. Uh, I'm gonna take Faustina as a concubine. I could take one, even two more, I think. I'm gonna take Marina. Why is my niece in my jail? I would like to know. Have I put her in there? Constantia. You too. You're young and you should probably get a husband instead, but you're gonna sleep with your very old cousin instead. Because why not? I am the emperor, you know? So who wouldn't want to sleep with me? Just for the sta status and money and everything. And the possibility of burying my heir. I should probably call a hunt first before... I would like to go on a pilgrimage, but I think I'm gonna go on a hunt first for just the option to make people like me a bit more. Humble honesty, five opinion. That's good. Uh, I would like to look at this if you don't mind. Come on. Here we go. This is prestige. I'm gonna take this to just get a bit of opinion with people. Because it's gonna fire off soon, and that's a strong bloody faction. These people really should drop out. They are at a hundred opinion of me. You would think that they would leave the faction, but apparently that's not gonna happen. So I might as well just go for a pilgrimage to Alexandria is the furthest one that we can go on. And I generally feel like those are the best one to go on. It's time to depart. Right. So we're gonna have a big faction firing off very soon, it seems like. That makes me feel very, very happy, you know? No, it doesn't. It makes me feel a bit scared, to be fair. I'm just trying to spend as much money as possible to stop this. Oh, you are intimidated. You should drop out, you know. Come on. You too, cow's kisses. I made you, or my father did. Without him, you would be nothing. You should respect his wishes in making me his heir. I spent a fortune on these people. That appears a bit risky. I am brave. But uh, I don't want to be wounded at this point of time. Because I, it might actually kill me. So I'm going to have to go for an intrigue challenge. And I got away unharmed. That's good. I'm going to ransom these people. And Chian and Fedelmid. No, I can't actually ransom that person. I'm making a lot of money. That's a good thing. We must find a guide. Absolutely. Oh, it's because they have they have lowered the threshold to 70%. Uh, and England and West Francia are really strong. I think that's part of the issue here. That's a, like those people that are still left in the faction are really strong. We have managed to severely weaken the faction, making it easier for us to win it and deal with it. They might send me an ultimatum, they might not. It does depend. It's gonna give me some opinion as well. That might be a good thing. Those three people should drop out now. And that might just be it with the faction. I would hope. I pray be. It might actually not be an issue. No! They are actually gonna try and fight. Even though some of these people actually love me, they should drop out. You shouldn't be in this. I'm gonna focus on England. I can actually, I have my own holding here, as you might remember. Rally the troops. Um, right, now we can see the people are actually fighting against us. I saw Persia. I made you too. I made all of these people. I think we can actually... They have 90,000, we have 90,000, but I have fortune of money. Sweden too. Why Sweden? Come on. There's absolutely no reason to do this. You know, I'm gonna try and raise my people here in Salisbury. And hopefully that will work out for us. I'll try and raise them as far away from York as possible, because that's obviously where the English are gonna raise their own troops. They're gonna raise everyone, hopefully it will not take too long. Then we can get a strong enough army to deal with, at least with the British people. 
because that's 21,000. Uh, it's a sizable army. I think we're going to be able to deal with it, though, with those people. Yeah, we should. We should be able to. They're going to try and, deal. They're gonna try and consolidate their forces, because that's always how the AI works in this game. They always try and consolidate their forces. I can actually, I can support all of these people. That's impressive. It's a strong army and I can actually support them. I am really impressed by that. But what I'm, what I'm going to do, they control the war target. I'm going to try and, just, if I could, siege my way towards York. It worked out. Good. I have, of course, better siege equipment, I think, than they do. I feel like this is like a bug. They haven't finished with their raising of troops, which is a bit weird. Now they, are, now they have finished with it. I am, of course, going to try and win this thing. And by getting like 100%. But for that to happen, I actually need to... Well, either kill a lot of people or siege down a lot of things. And I think both of these things are going to be a bit... Difficult, to be fair. They are, of course, trying to siege me down, but I think we can out-siege them. And I'm sitting down things that should be worth more than the things that they're trying to siege down. I'm just gonna ransom these people, because I can. Of course, supply is gonna be an issue, so I would prefer someone with good supply. Supply. Where can I find him? That is the question. The guy of Burgundy, of course. That's the best one that we could find. Great. We would, of course, beat the English army in a fight. I think kind of easily as well. Because they're not that impressive. We can't go that way. We have to go this way. We can't go that way. It's a bit, it's a bit difficult, this, you know? There's a lot of castles in England. Who knew? I did, but still. It's a lot of things to siege down. Not taking too long, but I my supply is ticking, and that's an issue. I don't want to have to deal with it. If I if I siege down their capital, I think, and if I potentially kill the British army as or the English army, not the British one of course, I think that might go a long way towards our goal of dealing with these things. Derby. Not particularly good in football nowadays, because they have gone into... Basically gone broke, the entire football club. Because they have really bad owners. Let me tell you that much. And the manager, he was really good at football himself, but he's not particularly good at managing a team as well. That's part of the issue for Derby, in my opinion. And the football player that I'm talking about, of course, is Wayne Rooney. Which I guess that a lot of my English... No, my American viewers wouldn't know. Is the Kingdom of Mali ruled by one of my dynasty? How in the bloody... How? Just how did this happen? You wanna be my vassal? No, why not? We're the same bloody dynasty. I go for low. Now, if I were close to you, he would always say yes. Almost say yes. I'm not his rightful leech, but... And he's a king, but... Come on, if I can make him like me a bit more, this could potentially happen. I, I just need to get there. Actually, that's like the only thing that I need to make sure happens. Okay, we're getting closer to York. And apparently we are not neighboring York because we haven't sieged down this castle. Which really doesn't make sense at all. But that's just the way the game works. Marinus, welcome to the family. I lost a few sieges. I lost one of them. Interesting. I am known for dedication to my fate. Well, that's good to know. I lost yet another siege. Hopefully this will deal with the war target issue. Then I might just have to go and deal with the English army going and sieging them down. That's the Swedish one, I think. 
Right. I can go and kill him because the reason I'm sitting down England, if you didn't know, he is the war leader. He's the main guy leading the rebellion. So sitting down his stuff is actually worth the most. Generally, that's how it works most of the time. So sitting down his stuff and killing his army is what's going to make the most difference to the war score. And also that we control the war target, which is basically sitting down his stuff, his capital. So now we control the war target, he doesn't. Because I see each town is capital. So now we're gonna have a ticking war score, which is amazing. Oh, we actually sort of get finished here in Italy. I like it. This is actually, I think, Italy too. So we're gonna try and make that Roman as well. Severus could marry, you should marry Mustella with scaly skin, but I think she's beautiful at least. That's something. Who else is actually related to me? Kono. Where is that? I think it's that's African. That's absolutely African. I know it's African. Yeah, it is. It's part of Mali, though. So. I guess I, I see. I can see it. And I think Kaza is probably in Mali too. It's a long time ago since I did my Mother of Soul campaign, but I do remember those things. Yes, I do. Right. Okay, Achilles, you named your son after yourself. A very good family tradition, you know. It's a very well-used family tradition, brother. Okay, he's kind of he's trying to run away. I can catch some of them. My supply is running though, running low. If I can try, he's gonna get locked. He can't go away then. That's bad. Because he's gonna, he's not gonna try and reinforce these guys, meaning I won't be able to catch all of his troops. But he's actually trying to... Oh, that's a bit stupid. He did what the AI always does, and that sacrifices his own troops trying to deal with fighting. It's not like he's gonna win this, but he's trying to reinforce any way to try and deal with it. That's just stupid. In my opinion. And he's gonna come in with these extra troops against 80,000, and it's not gonna work out. And we cannot catch this guy because he's moving really, really rapidly. Cool. I think what we're gonna do is gonna try and kill the Swedish army before they're able to do anything. The problem here, here is that I'm actually starting to starve very soon. And when I'm starting to starve, that's gonna be a bad thing. And they're trying to siege back York, which of course is not a good thing as well. Should I throw a queen in jail? Yeah, sure. Why not? I would love to throw her in jail. Seeing as we have no supply, I might as well just replace this guy with a better commander. I think. Probably a siege guy for now. Because I think what I have to do, I have to go and stop the Swedes from taking back York. That's actually Lothringia. And Sweden. Now that's West Francia. All of them are here. And I'm gonna go and kill all of them, because I can. I think they're gonna be able to siege this back first though, and that's a bit of a shame. Okay, so where's the- that's my vassal, I'm not gonna- What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna force her to become my religion, she will accept. That's great, she's not gonna love us, but she's gonna like us a bit more than she used to. Which is of course a good thing. Okay, you are related somehow? Good to know. I am starving, I know. I would like to take York though before we're able to siege it down. Which I am apparently capable of doing, so that's a good thing. And I also gained a perk by killing people. Good to know. I'm gonna go for befriend because I wanna try and take things. So who should I befriend first? Bjarmaland. Bjarmaland. I would like to get rid of you. You've been around here for a while now. And I would really like to take this thing. Can I find someone with a claim? A prince, preferably. It's the best way to go about it. Yeah, this guy. Please, my man, be a friend to me. I would love to be your friend. I am starving, but I'm still beating the ass. I think. Yes, I am. That's good. I was actually being a bit worried that I will not beat him. I go for 100% here. Because of reasons. 
I want 100%. I'm losing a lot of guys to attrition already as it is, but I beat them up. So they're not strong enough to deal with me now. Especially seeing as I can always hire mercenaries if I need to. Of course, I have a ticking war school. They are sitting down a lot of things though, which belong to us, which is worth a lot of war score apparently. Which I still think doesn't make sense because I am much stronger than they are. Throw this guy out. I'm not gonna keep smallpox here. It's stupid. It's gonna kill us all. I don't wanna die. Ugh. Go and kill the British army again. He's mustering. That's gonna be going for us. I lost a friend. And the smallpox is gone. It's gonna, it's gonna hit my fertility though, so that's not a bad thing. Or it's not a terrible thing, rather. One faction apparently disappeared. If I go and kill... Oh, apparently I'm not going to win this. I, I'd rather go and siege them down then. I think we're going to be very close with the Tekken War score to deal with them. I could become athletic. Why wouldn't I want to become athletic? That's amazing. Such a good way to lose stress. It also increases your health. Going to keep you alive a bit longer. And I could talk to Confidant as well. Amazing thing. We're gonna enforce the mounts. These people are gonna end up in my jail. But I'm not gonna do anything about them, I think. I could kill them, but he actually likes me now. Even though I'm sweaty, he still likes me. Which I find kinda interesting, actually. Kinda interesting. I have a lot of people in ransom, though. Ugh, oh, there's a lot of guys. I remember when I played my first like Byzantine campaign and I didn't ran I just gave up on ransoming people and I had like a gazillion people that I could potentially ransom. We are related. You're gonna get out. I think I'm related to more people on this list to be fair. Or I might be. No, I might not be actually. I'm gonna keep them in there for now. While they're in jail, they cannot do anything about me. Against me rather. So that was the first time we had a succession war or an independence thing firing for a very long time. And that was actually very interesting. Kinda easy to deal with. We lost a lot of guys to attrition, as always, because I always do. But finally, in the next episode, we can go on an offensive war, preferably against Bjarma land as, and against some other people, like these people, or these people, because apparently I'm related to Mali, which I didn't... I couldn't ever imagine, but that's apparently how things are nowadays. But make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so you do not miss out on any future uploads in this campaign. And leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to talk about. But thanks for watching, see you soon, take care.